Okay, I'm getting my equipment set up here. Sorry, I'm late today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, I'm almost done getting my equipment ready here, getting my screen. Okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! I need to know if you can see me and hear me before I start. So if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Please say yes so I know everything is a-okay. Alice. Thank you very much, yay. Dr. Maris, thank you. Marion, hello. Sewu, good, thank you so much. Hello, Rita, those eyeballs. You can see me with the eyeballs, good, good. Samuel, hello. Vera, hello, thank you. <clears throat> Let's see, Tomas, how you doing? Marwa, hello, thank you. Helga, hello. Fran, <coughs> hello, Vanessa, Maria, okay, good to know that, uh, Jeklia, hello, Mary, hello, Long Dora, hello, okay, thank you everyone for being here with me today, yay, YouTube, hello, Alexander, hello, okay, let's do our toast. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck when we start. We never start without a toast. So let's do that. So whatever you're drinking, please pick it up. Pick up your beverage. Yes. And let's have our first toast to the green team. Yes, the members of the channel. They're in green. They support me. They support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone so let's give a big thank you to the green team. Thank you, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we need to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. Sylvia, I'm doing good. How are you doing? All right, all right. Now, for our second toast, it's for you, yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you. And let's give a toast to you. Let's give a toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. All right. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. Mmm. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Well, for today's lesson plan, I have it right here, right here on this paper. And we're going to do, we're gonna review what is it. We did that on Wednesday and we will review the cards. By reviewing the cards, I'm gonna give you clues and I want you to guess what it is. Then we're gonna do, which is better. I'm gonna give you a choice of two things. You're gonna tell me which one is better and why. Plus a new, a new activity called, what is the difference? All right, so I'm gonna give you two, two things like what, which is better, but now you're gonna tell me um, the difference between the two things. You're gonna tell me the difference between the two things. Then we're gonna do a conversation from my book. 50 very short conversations and the conversation is takes place in a restaurant so we're going to practice that and then we're going to do our members only dictation cards yeah so the green team they wrote the sentences so we're going to practice their sentences and the topic is cold feet okay so we're busy we're going to be here for two hours so I hope you are comfortable I hope you are happy. I hope you are ready to practice English with me and practice with the chat. Yeah, so all the wonderful people here in the chat. So they have lots of um, 
we can get lots of practice in the chat and together. Yes, we can. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, Anna Maria, hello, how you doing? Okay, good. Lua, hello. All right, Nof, hello. Long Dora, hello. Wang, hello. Okay, I'm happy to see everyone. Alexander, hello. Marion's in the house, hello. Sewu, hello. Okay, okay, good, good. Hana, hello. All right, I'm happy. I hope you are happy too. All right, if you're happy, 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 clap your hands. Boop, boop. Okay, what is it? Let's do our review activity. I'm going to give you clues and you need to tell me what it is. So, what is it? It's ah, uh, okay. So, please tell me what it is. Oh, there's four cards. So, let's. Let's do spots for the four cards. One, two, three, four, and we have four cards, so we need four magnets. So my magnets are right here. One, two, three, four, four magnets. One, two, <clears throat> three, and four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shuffle the cards a little bit. This is a review. We did these, um, on Wednesday. Okay, here we go. This is a machine. This is a machine and this machine dispenses water. This is a machine that dispenses water, but the water is not in a bottle. The water is not in a glass. The water is not in a cup. The water just comes out and you have to put your mouth close to it and just drink the water. It's coming out from a, it, it, there's pressure and the water shoots out. So it shoots out, <laughs> it's a machine that shoots out a stream of water. This is a machine that sh shoots out a stream of water and you have to put your lips right up to it and the water shoots right directly into your mouth and you can drink water that way. What is it? Okay. Ah, um, let's see who I'm looking at the chat right now. Okay. Okay. Ava, Ava has an answer. Helga has an answer. Tomas has an answer. Marion has an answer. Let's see. Dr. Ramirez has an answer. Fran has an answer. Samuel has an answer. Anna Maria has an answer with a question mark. <clears throat> so she's not sure. So she put a question mark. Sewu has an answer. Vera has an answer. Okay. Yes. You guys got it. You remembered, right? It's a drinking fountain. It's a drinking fountain. Yeah. So it's a machine that shoots water in a stream and then you put your lips into the stream to drink. Yes. Okay, good. It's a drinking fountain. <clears throat> Card number two. All right. These, we, this, these, there are two. And we use these when we hurt a leg, when we hurt our leg, or we hurt <coughs> our foot, or we hurt our knee, or we hurt our ankle. And so we use these to help us walk and um, because we need help because we cannot put our full pressure on our leg, right? We can't walk normally because our leg is hurt. So we use, we use these to help us walk, right? So that way we don't have to use our leg. We can um, use this and our other leg. Our other leg is good, so we can use these plus our other leg, right? So for example, let's say I hurt my right leg. Well, my left leg is still good, right? So I could, but I can't, <coughs> I can't walk on my right leg. So I can't put pressure. So I need something that goes under my arm. So it goes on my armpit. And so I could use these to help me walk. 
What are they? Let's see. I'm looking at the chat. Helga's got an answer. Ava's got an answer. Samuel's got an answer. And yeah, you guys got it. You know what they are. Yes, Alice. Good. Ana Maria. Yes. Dr. Maris. Yes. They are crutches. Good. They are crutches. Good, Tomas. Crutches. They are crutches. Yes, they are. <clears throat> okay. I need a drink. I have hay fever. My throat is a little, um, there's like a frog in my throat. Okay, here we go. Three, card three. <clears throat> okay, this is, mm, how can I say, how, what clues can I give for these? Let's see. Um, there, hmm, it's, it's made of liquid. So it's liquid and it's a shape. And the shape comes from being dripped. So it's just a, uh, a drop. <laughs> just, and so the shape, so at the upper part, it's pointy. And then it comes down more round, right? Fatter on the, <laughs> on the bottom, right? So the top is a little pointy. The bottom is a little fatter and round. And um, this particular is of water, but there can also be the same shape can come from blood. The same shape can come from your eye, a tear, right? The same shape can come from coffee. The same shape can come from any liquid, but this particular liquid is water. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to give clues for this. Helga, yes. Ava's got... Helga's got an answer, Ava's got an answer, Samuel's got an answer, Tomas has an answer, Sylvia has an answer, Alice has an answer, Marion, how you doing? Marion has an answer, Tomas has an answer, Fran, dropper, okay, mm. okay, so, okay, Mary, or Fran, we'll talk about that after in a minute here, Fran. Anna Maria has an answer. Plantis, Dr. Maris, yeah, okay, good. It's a water drop. Yeah, it's a water drop. Now, um, Fran said dropper. So, like an eyedropper, that, so it's an eyedropper. Um, delivers the, the medicine into your eye. And so, it's called a dropper because one drop at a time, right? So you have a, a dropper, let's say eye dropper, right? And you need to put medicine into your eye and it's liquid medicine. And, and so the dropper allows just one drop, right? Just, just one drop into your eye, right? So because it's medicine, it has to be controlled, right? So not just, you know, take you know, take this and just go, ha, you know, like an eye wash. So maybe at school or your work or something, if you work around um, chemicals, right, and maybe they can get into your eye, well, you need to wash out your eye. So, so eye washer is a, a, a thing, like a drinking fountain, and you put your eye up to it, and it just shoots water into your eye. So it just washes your eye, like a shower, for your eye, but that's not controlled, right? That there's, there's no amount. It's not controlled. It just shoots, right? It's like a shower. Water just comes in, right? And washes your eye. Where eye dropper gives you a controlled amount, like one drop, two drops, because it's medicine and um, too much is bad, right? Too little doesn't do any work. It doesn't help, but too much can be bad, right? So. That's a dropper. So this is one drop, one drop. Okay, good. Okay, one more card. Here we go. Here are the clues. Oh yeah, okay. That's right, Tomas. So Tomas says we can use a dropper for our nose and our ears. That's right. That's right, Tomas. 
Okay, here we go. Our fourth item, our fourth card, and here are the clues. It's green. It's um, this plant doesn't need water, not much water. It doesn't need much water. Just usually people just um, have a water spray. So mister, like a water mister. So this, this plant doesn't need um, to be watered, just it needs to be mist, right? It needs mist. It grows in tropical places and it's very green. So it grows in like in jungles and tropical places where there's um, lots of moisture in the air, right? Not so much rain, but just moisture in the air. And you'll see them like in the forest, in the jungles, and they grow next to trees. I think they grow next to trees because the trees protect them from the rain, right? So they don't need direct moisture, or they don't need direct water, but they need moisture. And they're very thin. The leaves are very thin and very beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah, okay, Tomas, Sylvia, good, Ava, Alice, Marion, okay, you guys all. Oh, orchids, yeah, orchids are the, kind of the same thing, right? Um, they need moisture, but not direct water, right? Okay, good, yes, it's a fern, good, it's a fern, very good. I like ferns, I think they're very beautiful. Nice, 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 okay. That was re review from Wednesday. We did these on Wednesday. So what is it? It's a drinking fountain. Okay, crutches, there's two. So we need, what are they, right? So what are they? What is it? We, for one thing, more than one, we say, what are they? <clears throat> what are they? And then the answer would be, they are. Okay, so they are crutches. What is it? It's a water drop. What is it? It's a fern. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, so that was activity one. Now, activity two is, which is better? Which is better? All right, so are you ready? <clears throat> which is better? I'm gonna write that here below. I'll put a, a, a dash here to separate the two activities. Our next activity is which is better, which is better. Okay, so I'm going to give you two choices. You tell me which one is better and why, of course. Okay, here we go. Card one. Let me write one because that's, there's going to be a couple. Okay, here we go. One. All right, so which is better? Wait, Helga says, there is a fairy tale about a fern flower who can find, catch, and keep it, can find a tra Whoever can find it, okay, hold on, Helga. Okay, there is a fairy tale about a fern flower who can find it and catch it and keep it, can find a treasure. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I don't know that story. I don't know that story. Do ferns have flowers? I don't know if, I don't think ferns have flowers. Um, they're just a plant. So I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Which is better? Which is better? Which is a better hobby? Okay, which is a better hobby? Painting or pottery? Which is a better hobby? Painting or pottery? pottery which is a better hobby painting or pottery which is a better hobby painting or pottery which is a better hobby Which is a better hobby, painting or pottery? Why? Which do you think is better, painting or pottery? 
and why. So which one you think is better? Tell me which one you think is better and the reason why. The reason why. Which is better? Okay, Tomas says painting is better because it needs because you need less tools to do it. Painting is better because um, it needs less tools to do it. Yeah, pottery, you need a fire. You need like a kiln. You need a pottery wheel that spins. You need the clay. Yeah, so you actually kind of need like a lot of space, right, for pottery. For sure, good point there, Tomas. Great point. Okay, Carla, pottery, why? It's therapy. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I can see that, right? Because your, your hands are touching the clay, it's wet, it's dirty, and then you're, you're using your hands, you're using your fingers to um, make something. So, yes, I think it is therapy for sure. Good. Helga, painting is better because you can do it everywhere. Or we say anywhere, Helga. We can, yes, we can paint anywhere, right? You just need your easel, your, like, your, your canvas, your easel, which is your stand, and paints. And you could go to the beach and paint. You could go to the park and paint. You can go anywhere and paint. But pottery, you can't go anywhere with that. Okay, good. Yeah, Tomas. Hey, air lady. Hello. Mwah. Good to see air lady. Fran says, pottery is better because you can use it for different kind. Example. Oh, okay. You, okay. So, Fran, pottery is better because you can make different things. Pot, okay, Fran? Pottery is better because you can make different things. For example, cups, plates, bowls, mugs. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening, Michigan. Good evening, Michigan. <laughs> Samuel says, painting is better for me because I'm able to do that, but I cannot do, but not pottery. So Samuel, I can paint, but I can't do pottery. <clears throat> Samuel says, I can paint, but I can't do pottery. Yeah, we can do it anywhere. Good, good, Helga. We can do it anywhere. Yeah, so we can paint anywhere. Vera, painting is a better hobby because you can work outdoors. Yes, good point, right? Where you're, you're painting um, nature, right? So you'll be in the mountains. You'll be in the desert. You'll be at the beach. You'll be in the forest, right? So if you like painting nature, you paint birds, you can paint animals, you can paint landscapes. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Seiru says, painting is better because you can use various colors. Well, pottery, right? Seiru, we, you can paint your plates different colors, you can paint your cups different colors, you can paint your mugs different colors. Good evening, air lady. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, let's see. Tomas says, pottery is good to throw to the floor if you are nervous. Oh, like break plates, right? So <laughs> that's, that's fun, right? So Tomas is saying, go ahead and make plates, make um, dishes, right? Make cups, make plates, make mugs, and then break them. <laughs> So it feels good, right? Like, okay, here's a plate and I'm going to break it. Yeah, it feels good to throw it on the floor and break it. Maybe relieve stress, right? So if you're stressed, you're feeling stress, you're feeling you need to um, let go something, you know, something maybe you feel anger, you feel um, sadness, right? So maybe by breaking plates, that will free you, that will... Make you feel free. <laughs> All right. No problem. Air lady, I'm late too. I was late today too, so I'm sorry. I was late. 
getting ready today. Anna Maria, painting is better because you can paint anything. That's right. Pottery, you can make a plate, oh, a vase, right? Like a flower vase. You can make um, a glass cup or a cup mug, but that's about it, right? Or maybe, you know, different shapes like, um, like uh, artwork, but painting, paint any, the world, right? You, what, what you see, you can paint, right? Whatever you see or whatever you can imagine, right? Maybe you can't see it, but you can imagine it and then paint it. That's great point there. Great, great, great. Um, let's see. Okay, great. Yeah, calm. Yeah. So break some plates to relax. <laughs> that would be fun. I've never done it, but I should try sometime. Uh, Mary says, painting is better because I can express myself better through painting. Yeah, so painting is a good way to um, express your feelings, right? Because, because colors can um, represent feelings, right? So if you're feeling you know, angry, maybe you, you paint with red. If you're feeling calm, right, maybe you're painting with the blue. If you're feeling love and, and uh, maybe like pinks and things like that. So, um, yeah, so colors can express your, your feelings and, um, and pictures, right? Good, 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 good. Oh, Sewu has a good point. Sewu says pottery is better because it can be useful in the kitchen. Okay, right. So whatever you make you can use right and so if you're if you um if you make your own um, coffee cup right so let's say you make a coffee cup you use it every day and it's like i made this and so it's a good feeling right so every day you're you're using what you made and so you feel proud about that you feel good about that so and that's a, a nice reminder to yourself every day like if you're feeling sad look at your 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 um, mug that you made and that that will cheer you up <laughs> okay good 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 points everyone very very good all right so let's do one more one more and then we will do um, the what um, what is the difference okay so <clears throat> here's our our next card card number two and let me write two here. Okay, and I, I should get a magnet. I have one right here. Okay, here we go. Which is better? Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? One more time. Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? Which is better? An ocean view or a city view? What do you think is better? An ocean view or a city view? So which do you prefer to see? Let's say, for example, your house. Would you like a, an ocean view or a city view? Okay, Helga's on the board. An ocean view is better because it is relaxing. Dr. Mary says, ocean views, an ocean view is better because it is re relaxing. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I have allergies. Anna Maria says, a city view because I can see life. I can see people. I can see places. I can see... Um, businesses, right? I can see people moving around. Tomas says, ocean view is better because it is much nicer. 
It is much nicer. Eva, an ocean view because there are, because um, it has fresh air. So ocean view is better because of the fresh air. That's better. Eva, okay. An ocean view is better because of the fresh air. An ocean view is better because of the fresh air. Friend, an ocean view for me because the ocean is as far as the eye can see. Oh, okay, friend. An ocean view is, is better for me because um, I can see as far as the eye can see. Or I can, I can, looking out in the ocean, I can see forever. <laughs> I can see until the end. <laughs> I can see as far as I, there is, nothing blocking my view right so maybe in a city you know you have a view and then there's a building right and so you can't see past the building but with the ocean there's nothing blocking your view it's just straight and just open it's an open view okay air lady ocean is better because i love nature yeah so there's nothing blocking, there's nothing man-made, right? It's just nature. It's the ocean and the sky with birds and clouds. Okay, Samuel, an ocean view is better because it's natural and much more amazing, much nicer. Yeah, so the... the um, Okay, Alice, an ocean view is better because I can, because it relaxes me. And, and oh, Alice, an ocean view is better because it relaxes me. Because it relaxes me. Muhammad, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. It's a beautiful Friday today. Yes, it's a very beautiful day here in Japan. Seiru, ocean view is better because... I'm happier. I feel happiness, peacefulness. Um, so, so I can, I can um, feel relaxed from the busy, from a normal busy routine. Yeah. So, so if you live in the city and there's hustle and bustle and, and you're working and you're busy, but if you had an ocean view, you can, you can feel relaxed. Yeah. Okay, good everyone. Nice, nice. Well, um, I used to live by the beach, right? So I, I prefer an ocean view. And when and I can also surf. So I, I enjoy surfing when I'm at the beach. And one thing I enjoyed about surfing is like when you're in the ocean, you're off land, right? So you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of free, right? Where um, when, you're, like, when you're on land, you're touching land. Right now, I'm in my office and I'm touching carpet and I'm on the ground, right? And, and so just like there's a table there on the ground, there's a light there on the ground. Everything around me is on the ground, right? Touching the ground. But when, when I'm surfing, I'm like on the water and th they're under me, there's fish and I'm like, I'm free. And so that's one thing I enjoyed about surfing is like, I'm, I felt more free, right? And when I'm on the water, I can see the land, right? But where I am on the surfboard, I'm like free, right? And I feel, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm off the land, almost like flying, right? And so it, it's the closest to actual flying, right? So if you're in the ocean floating in the water, that is the next step to flying. So if you're like a bird, right? You're in the air and then, the, and then you have the ocean and then you have the land. So um, that's what I enjoyed about surfing. You're kind of in between, right? You have you're, you're flying on, in the sky and then you're standing on the ground. But 
when you're in the ocean, you're in between. So um, that's the best we can do to fly. We can be in the ocean. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So um, which is better? So we did two. Um, which is better? Which is a better hobby, painting or pottery? And then we did which is better, an ocean view or a city view? Now, I want to do a, a new activity. I want to do a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a dash here. And our new activity is, where is it? Okay, uh, hold on. Let me get organized for a sec, because I have cards everywhere. So I don't want to get these all mixed up. So I, I have a clip here, and here are the cards of which is, which is better. Okay, so now, which are better cards are, are um, they are um, clamped together. They are together, so I, they, won't, um, they won't spill over and, and, get, and, and um, get all loose all over everywhere. So now they're secure. All right, so now our new cards, which, what is the difference? What is the difference? So that's our next activity. What is the difference? Okay, so it's, a, it's, it's close to what we did, which is better, right? So two things, and you tell me um, the reason why one is better than the other, right? So most of you, I think, said, um, Painting is better because, and then you gave lots of reasons. You also said an um, ocean view is better because, and you gave lots of reasons, right? Well, what is the difference? Now I want you to compare the two and um, contrast, right? So we're going to compare and contrast. So for example, our first card, what is the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug. Okay, what, what is the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug? So how are they different? A computer hack and a computer bug. What's the difference? What is the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug. What is the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug? What is the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug. Okay, Ava, oh wait, well, Muhammad, I don't know. Okay, what is the difference between these two things? A little difficult. Okay, Ava. So, okay, how, okay. Yeah, okay, it's a little diff difficult. Um, okay, so for example, what is a computer hack? What is a computer bug? So how are they different? What's, how are they, so they're similar. They both, okay, what they're similar is they're both um, computer, um, bad for your computer, right? So they're both bad, right? So, so if you're using a computer, you don't want your computer to be hacked, no. You don't want a computer, you don't want a bug either, right? So they're both bad, but how, how are they different from each other, right? What, what, what is a hack and what is a bug? A com what is a computer hack? What is a computer bug? So by doing that, you're telling you're telling me the difference, right? So here we go. Okay. 
Okay, air lady, the bug is put in email. Yeah, okay, good. So, so um, usually a computer bug comes from email. That's right. It's like a virus, right? And so the virus gets into your computer from an email many times. Good, air lady. Good, good. Um, okay, Sack says, okay, okay, okay. I, I missed. Okay, Tomas says a computer hack is is direct thing, but the computer bug may be only a coincidence thing from a programmer. Okay, so so Tomas is saying a hack is directly. So someone is hacking your computer. So one person, it's like one on one, where a bug. It's just sent out to many people, like spam or something. Spam mail, right? It's just sent out. Very good. See? So, so okay, you guys are understanding. Um, Sack says, computers are hacked by people and software. Oh, okay. So, um, and bugs, how about this? Um, computers are hacked by people and bugs are um, sent by software. Like malware. Very good. Um, let's see. Bayou says, computer hack is someone who does bad things to steal others' data. Meanwhile, computer bug, as its name, it's like a pest in a plant biting your computer data, making viruses, etc. Very good. So, very good. So, you're telling me the difference between these two things. Very good. That's the purpose. Yeah. Helga, the difference between them are that you can fix the bug. Very good, Helga. Yeah, so there's, there's um, software that will fix the bug, but if someone hacks your computer, they get directly into your computer. Right. Very good. Um, and they can steal, right? So, so a hacker will go into your computer to steal something, like a thief, right? Like a thief that walks into your house or breaks into your house, takes your takes something, maybe takes your money, takes your jewelry, takes your TV. The, the hack will go into your computer and take your passwords, take your um, information, right? Uh, Tomas says, the hack made from hacker who wants, yep, sensitive data, wants your personal data, like passwords, um, information. Fran, okay, um, Air Lady says, hack is done by, by, um, by serious problem. Yeah, so a hack causes serious problems. That's right, Air Lady. Hacks cause serious problems. Hacks cause serious problems. Fran, computer bug is less severe than a computer hack. Okay, that's very good. <clears throat> so. Fran saying the difference is severity, right? Where like a bug is not as serious as a hack. Nice one, nice one. Let's see. Say Wu says computer bug is just a system problem, but computer hackers are manipulated by humans. Good. Ah, good air lady. The hack, a hack is, is worse than a bug. A hack is worse than a bug. A hack is worse than a bug. Very good. Oh, thank you, Gopa. Thank you very much. Helga says, the hack is made by taking money from you. Yeah, so the purpose. So, Helga, the purpose of a hack is to take money and information. That's right. Where maybe, maybe the purpose of a bug is just to... Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're both bad, right? They both take things, right? A bug will um, maybe uh, slow down your computer. It'll infect programs, make the programs um, work less efficient and um, can, can actually destroy your computer. But like hackers are thieves, right? They're taking information. Uh, Okay, Kaylin, Kaylin, Kaylin. A computer hacker is when a person is blocking your computer, and a computer bug is when an error occurs on your computer. Good, good. 
Yeah, Farah says, hack is stealing data. Oh, Ava, sometimes a bug is a mistake, right? You open a wrong file and in goes the bug into your computer. Very good. Yeah, okay, BC saying um, bug could be intentional, where a hack is, is, um, is intentional. Okay, stealing information. Good, good. Okay, so very good, everyone. Oh, Mrs. G is in the house. Hey, Mrs. G. Mwah. Good to see Mrs. G classroom. Okay, good. Let's do one more. So um, what's the difference between a computer hack and a computer bug? So you guys, you know it. You know the difference. Very good. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, here's number two. What is the difference? What is the difference? Here we go. What is the difference? And here we go. Card number two. What is the difference between a truck and a van? <laughs> what is the difference between a truck and a van? What is the difference between a truck and a van? What is the difference between a truck and a van. What is the difference between a truck and a van? What is the difference between a truck and a van? What is the difference between a truck and a van? Okay, Tomas, very simple. A van is not as big as a truck. <laughs> a van is not as big as a truck. Very true. A van is not as big as a truck. Let's see, Mary says, oh, oh, hack computer is when someone gets information from your computer without permission. Yeah, Mary, very good. So a computer hack is when someone gets information from your computer without permission. Perfect. Mary, I like that one. Ava, a truck is longer and bigger. Good, good. Ava says, a truck is longer and bigger. Very good. Fran says, it is very different because a truck is for a job, van is for holiday. Good, good, good. Yeah, so like maybe a truck is for working and a van is for pleasure. Okay, I like it. Uh, Rahib says, hello, have a nice day. Thank you very much, Rahib. Have a nice day. Are you leaving, Rahib? When you say, have a nice day, that means goodbye. Are you leaving us, Rabbi? Rahib? Helga says, a truck can't accommodate more cargo. Yeah, because it's bigger, much bigger. Uh, Dina says, a truck is bigger than a van. Yes. Gopal says, um, Gopal says, um, one is for traveling, the other is for goods. Nice. One is for traveling. The other is for goods. One, <coughs> one is for traveling. The other is for goods. Vera says, I think you can earn more money with a truck. Okay, yeah, because you can carry more merchandise. Yeah, Vera. Vera says, I think you can earn more money with a truck. Good, good, good. Okay. Helga says, a van is for cargo and people, and a truck is only for cargo. Very good. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Um, Sack says, the truck carries loads, and the minibus carries people. Sack says, a truck carries loads, and a van carries people. A truck carries loads 
and a van carries people. Air lady, a truck is big and difficult to drive. Oh, okay, good, air lady. Yeah, a truck, a truck is more difficult to drive than a van. That is good one, air lady. No one has said that yet. So um, a truck is more difficult to drive than a van, for sure, for sure. Like you, people have to go to like truck driving school, right? You have to learn to drive a truck. Where like a van, you just get in, put on the gas and steer, right? Very simple. But a truck takes, takes um, skill, right? Because it's so big. Uh, uh, Dr. Maris, a truck transports packages, but a van transports people. Very good. Rita, uh, a van transport, transports people, truck transports things. A van transports people, and a truck transports things. BC, they are both transportation vehicles. A van carries passengers, while a truck carries goods. Say what? Truck is for a truck is for carrying things and a van is for picking up people. <laughs> like like a, a like a school van, right? Picking up the students. Good. Helga. Okay, Samuel. We use a van for traveling and a truck for shipping. Very good, Samuel. We use a van for traveling and a truck for Shipping, very good. Marion, the difference between the truck and the van is carrying capacity. Carrying capacity. Good, Marion. The difference between a truck and a van is carrying capacity. Air lady, um, a van is easier to drive than a truck. Air lady. A van is easier to drive than a truck. A van is easier to drive than a truck. Hey, Callie, how you doing? Muhammad says, a truck carries heavy instruments and a van cannot. Good one. So, Muhammad, a truck can carry heavy instruments and a van cannot. A truck can carry heavy instruments, but a van cannot. A truck can carry heavy instruments, but a van cannot. Oh, Tomas says, to drive a truck is not difficult. Oh, because Tomas can do it. That's why. But Tomas, someone who's never driven a truck, probably cannot. For the, at first. Um, Colleen, a, a truck is for cargo and a van is for transporting people. Oh, Sewu, I like this one. Sewu says, vans have more seats than trucks. Yes, usually trucks have two seats. Vans have many seats. Very good, Sewu. Vans have more seats than trucks. Yes, they do. Because vans transport people, trucks transport goods. So, of course, a van has more seats. Yes. Fran says, in Canada, um, vans are huge. Oh, so there's different, different size vans, for sure. For sure. Different size vans, of course. Yeah. Minivans, you have like family vans, you have cargo vans, yep, very um, different sizes for sure. Dr. Maris says, for driving a truck, you need a special driver's license, but for driving a van is an ordinary driver's license. Yes, that's true. Good, Dr. Maris. For driving a truck, you need a special license, but you don't for a van. For driving a truck, you need a special license, but not for a van. Mohammed, hello. How you doing? 
Okay, Dr. Mer or no, no, no. Mrs. G classroom says, in my country, you need a special driver's license to drive a truck. If you drive a van, you just need a common driver's license. Yes, that's how it is in um, Japan. That's how it is in America too. I think everywhere is like that. So Mrs. G is in Nicaragua. So in Nicaragua, you need a special license. Okay, yes, okay, you guys understand. Okay, Erle says, a van is easier to drive than a truck. Air Lady, one more time. A van is easier to drive than a truck. One more time, Air Lady. A van is easier to drive than a truck. A van is easier to drive than a truck. Okay, good. So. At first we had, like, I felt like maybe you weren't quite sure how to do this, but you know how to, right? Great answers, everyone. You guys know the differences. You gave um, great explanations. You gave great examples of the differences between, yeah? And so um, that's very important for communication, right? So to, to um, explain differences, right? To compare and contrast, right? So to compare, you're looking at similarities, right? So to compare, for example, we can, we can compare, we can compare a computer hack and a computer bug, right? So we can compare, so for comparing the similarities, right? They're both bad for your computer. They both affect computers, right? So those are similarities. And then the differences, right? Contrast, contrast, the differences. A bug is um, usually sent out in a spam where a hack is done by a person directly, right? So we can, we can compare how are they similar and we can contrast how are they different. So very good. And you do that in English and your, your English is going to get better and better because you can start communicating, um, comparing things and contrasting things. And that's a lot of what we do when we communicate. That's a lot of what we do when we have conversation, right? So good job. Yep. And so, and then here you're like, which is better? So you're, you're explaining yourself. You're explaining how you feel about something, right? So here, this is objectively, right? Which is better, right? So this is just your own idea, right? Like, you, you know, I give you a couple of choices and you go, oh, okay, I, per I think um, painting is better because, and it's your, there's no wrong answer, there's no right answer. It's your answer, right? However, what is the difference? There is a certain answer, right? It's not, anything is okay, right? We can't say anything is okay. Here, we can say anything's okay because it's just your idea, your feeling. But here, we have to, um, we, we can't just use our feeling. We can't just use our imagination. We have to give facts, right? So here, we don't really need to give facts, right? We, we can um, express how we feel. However, w with what's the difference, we have to give facts. We have to give truths, right? It has to be true. Where, where here, it's just your, your own idea. Okay, so good job, and I like how you, you did these two activities. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Now, let's do our next activity, yes, and our next activity is a conversation from my book, okay? So, we're, today's conversation is page 30 page 30 and we are in a restaurant yes so in a restaurant so this is the conversation is happening in a restaurant and um this is my book 50 very short conversations and there there are three books today we're doing the book one and you get my books at amazon.com if you have it thank you very much if you don't have it that's okay because I'm going to write the conversation on the board, okay? So, um, first, I will just, um, I will um, 
read the conversation, so please just listen. Please just listen, and I will read the conversation. Okay, so here we go in a restaurant. So please listen carefully. Can I start you off with an appetizer? Yes, you can. What can I get you? I'll have potato skins. Good choice. Is that all? Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, so here we go one more time. Can I start you off with an appetizer? Yes, you can. What can I get you? I'll have potato skins. Good choice. Is that all? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Now, um, who is saying, who is saying this? Can I start you off with an appetizer? Who, who is saying that? Okay, uh, in, in the conversation, who says, can I start you off with an appetizer? So in the chat, please tell me who is saying this? Can I start you off with an appetizer? Who is that? Who is that? Okay, good, Helga. Okay, now, what can we say for a, um, when we can say for a non-gender, non-sex, okay? So, a waiter is a man, a waitress is a woman. What word do we, can we use that means um, both? So it either can be a woman or it can be a man. What do we use for that? What do we use that? If you want to, um, a w one word that's used for both men and women. Yes, Dr. Maris, thank you. So let's use, let's use server, okay? So, okay, one more time. In the chat, please tell me who is speaking. Can I start you off with an appetizer? Who is speaking? They are the best, Tomas. Good, Marion. It's a server. Good, good. All right. So, can I start you off with an appetizer? That is the server speaking. Very good. Um, now, who is saying? Yes, you can. Who is saying, yes, you can? I, I think, Mohammed, I think you, do, doesn't Amazon go to you? Actually, I'm making a video on this book and I will have it in May. So in May, I will upload a video based on this book. Okay, good, good. So the other person is the customer. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. So, all right, very good. So we have a server and a customer. Yeah, of course, right? That's, that's what, those are the people in a restaurant. Well, we have the people in a restaurant. We have a server. <laughs> we have, okay, we have servers. We have customers. We have um, chefs, we have bus, um, bussers, right? People who take the plate, the dirty dishes from the, the table. We have the dishwasher. So there's a few people who work in a restaurant, right? So at least, at least we have um, customers, we have um, servers, we have chefs, we have um, dishwashers, and we have um, bussers. So at least five types of people in a restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. Guest. We can say guest. We can say that. Visitor. No, we, can, we don't use visitors for a restaurant because a visitor just comes and goes, right? A visitor comes and goes. However, a customer buys something and a guest is like, we welcome a guest. So that's kind of, a guest is more just a um, friendly way to say customer, right? Or um, like a hotel will use a guest, right? So 
um, so a hotel will not use customer, they will use guest. So actually a guest is, is um, free, right? So you have a guest to your house and they stay with you for free, right? If you have a, um, BM, if you have a, a Airbnb, a, um, Airbnb, yeah, Airbnb, um, they're a guest, but they're paying money, right? And in a restaurant, we, you can use guests, but actually they're a customer. A customer um, has to pay, right? So if you go to a store, you're a customer because you have to pay for the service. If you go to the restaurant, if you go to a restaurant, you have to pay for the service, maybe a tip, you have to pay for the food, right? So, so you're a customer, but many times they'll use guests just to make it sound more friendly. Okay, so let's write the conversation on the board. Okay, let's see, we, we're still, I, I could go right here, okay. Okay, A is first. A says, which is the server, right? Can I start you off with an appetizer? And then B says, Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Then A says, what can I get you? What can I get you? Then B says, the, cus the customer says, I'll have potato skins. Very, I love potato skins. Okay, and then um, A says, good choice. Good choice. And um, is, is that all? Good choice. Is that all? Question. B says, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so um, we have the situation, right? We have a situation, right? The situation is two people in a restaurant, and the two people are a server and a customer, and they're having their conversation in a restaurant, okay? And it goes like this. Okay, let, let's... Let's practice um, speed. Let's go slowly and quickly. Then we will talk about meaning, okay? So let's just practice speed. Let's practice speaking right now. <clears throat> Can I start you off with an appetizer? 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 Appetizer, appetizer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. What can I get you? 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 I'll have potato skins. 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 Good choice. Is that all? 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 Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, good, good. Now, Let's talk about the meaning a little bit, okay? Let's talk about the meaning. Can I start you off with an appetizer? Can I start you off? Start you off. So here, for example, um, to, to, to begin, right? So we're going to, you're, you're, you came into the restaurant, 
you're going to have an experience, right? You're going to, you know, be there for, let's say, an hour, okay? So you're going to go into the restaurant and you're going to be there for an hour. So let's, let's start the process, okay? So our first process, the first step, let's, let's call these steps, let's call this um, process, okay? So let's start with our steps because we're in a restaurant and there's going to be steps. And our first step is an appetizer. That's an appetizer. So that is a um, little snack before the meal. Okay, that's like a snack before the meal. That is to get going. <laughs> let's, let's start eating and our first step will be something small. All right. And so an appetizer is um, something small bite size, maybe you use your hands, you know, your fingers. Um, it's not a lot of food. It's just to get yourself ready for the bigger meal. All right. So that's an appetizer. Start you off. Let's, this is step one. We're going to do step three and four. Okay. So start you off. And then, um, the, the customer says, yes, you can. I'm ready to start. I want to start eating. <laughs> okay. And then um, the server says, what can I get you? So what, what on the menu, what the appetizer section, right? So the appetizer menu, what do you want from the appetizer menu? What can I get you? And then I'll have potato skins. So potato skins, <clears throat> of course, made from potato, right? So if you have a potato, you cut it in half. Now you have two halves and Outside you have the skin is outside and inside is the potato. So potato skin, they, they take out the potato. Okay, maybe with a spoon or something. You take out the potato. Now you have a cup. And the cup is like, you know, a potato skin cup. And then they put things in the cup. Yeah, so maybe, maybe you put some potato in there, right? So maybe you, you take out the potato, then you mash it up. So now it's it's kind of um, light and fluffy. So maybe you put a little bit of potato back in. Maybe you put some um, cheese inside there. Maybe you put some green peppers inside. Maybe you put some bacon inside. And then you put it in the oven. And so now the cheese is melted. The, the bacon is cooked. The, the potato is cooked. The, um, maybe there's a little bit of sauce, like some sour cream. And so now you have like a cup, a little cup of um, delicious food. So it's a little, so the cup is made from potato and so it's very good. And so it's like a finger food. So you can eat it with your fingers. You just pick up, it's small, it's small. You pick up the, the potato skin, which is like a little cup and you just eat it and it's very good. And it's a good way to start your dinner. Okay. Then a, says good choice so now the, the the server is complimenting the customer right like oh you have you have good taste you you make good decisions and so now the customer feels good right oh and so um the server is complimenting the customer right oh that's a good choice right you are smart you have good taste you know good food right good choice is that all so is that all meaning do you want more, right? Do you want more from the appetizer menu? Would you like potato skins and French, or, or let's say potato skins and um, shrimp or something, Sh shrimp cocktail? Do you, want, do you want escargot, right? Do you want something else from the um, appetizer menu? And he says, um, is that all? Uh, yes, thank you. So that's all I need for appetizers is potato skin. So good choice. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I'm, I'm good. I don't need more food from the appetizer menu. So that's good. That's all I need from the appetizer menu. I know, Dr. Maris, those potato skins are mouth-watering for sure. Mouth-watering. I love potato skins. In Japan, we don't find them. So here in Japan, if you want potato skins, you have to make it yourself. You can't, I, I've never seen them in a restaurant here in Japan. So 
When I go to America, when I go back home to visit my, my family and friends, if I see them on the, or I'll go to certain restaurants that I know they have potato skins and I or, always order potato skins. I love them. I love them. Okay, good, good. Now, um, we, we practice speed. We went slowly. We went quickly. We also talked about the meaning. So now let's role play. Let's, let's practice together. So I will be A. I will be the server and you will be B. You will be the customer. Okay, so let's practice role playing. Let's, let's be the conversation, you and I. Okay, here we go. Count down to role play. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Can I start you off with an appetizer? Or let me, let me, sorry, let me get into the, the server. I have paper. So I have the, the um, I'm going to write down your order on this. Okay, so ready? Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Can I start you off with an appetizer? What can I get you? Oh, good choice. Is that all? All right, I'll be, I'll be back with your potato skins. Do, 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 do. Okay, good job. All right, let's do it again. Ready? Count down. I'm A, you're B. Five, four, three, two, one. Can I start you off with an appetizer? What can I get you? Good choice. Is that all? Okay, I'll be right back with the potato skins. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, we always say three is a charm, okay? Three is the charm. So let's do it for the third time. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Can I start you off with an appetizer? What can I get you? Oh, good choice. Is that all? <laughs> I'll be right back with the potato skins. <laughs> Okay, good job, good job. Okay, let's switch now. You, you are the uh, server. I am the customer and I have a menu right here. Here's my menu. Here is my menu. Okay, ready? Okay, you are A, I'm B. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, you can. Hmm. I'll have the potato skins. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Count down. You're A, I'm B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes, you can. Hmm. I'll have the potato skins. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry. I'm hungry. Hurry up. Bring those back soon. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. You're A. Ready? Go. Yes, you can. I'm really hungry. Yes, you can. I'll have the potato skins. Yes, thank you. And hurry up. <laughs> ASAP, please. ASAP. <laughs> okay, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Woo. Good, good. Good job. Well, um, that was our conversation, yeah? And um, let's go to, I'm looking at the clock. Let's go now. We're going to um, switch activities. Now we're going to do dictation cards. Dictation cards, and these are the members only, the, the green team sentences, yeah? So um, today's dictation, <coughs> sorry. Today's dictation cards are done from or done by, done by the members, the green team. Yeah, the people in green, they did the sentences. So we have to say thank you to them. Thank you, green team, for today's sentences. Now, um, we will do four steps as always. So I'm going to write down the steps. I'll write them down here. We are running out of space, but that's okay. We're almost done. Okay. So, we're, our step one is dictation, of course. 
Step two is um, shadowing. And meaning. Shadowing and meaning. What does the sentence mean? Then we will do, then you'll do it on your own, on your own. Then a quiz. So lots of practice. All right. And the topic is cold feet. Cold feet. Okay, so cold feet is a fear, okay? So like, I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm scared to do it, all right? So, so it's a fear, and um, you don't want to do it. I'm getting cold feet. And so you, it's an, an action you do not want to do, all right? So like, I don't want to do it. I, I'm getting cold feet, right? So it's an action. You're thinking about it, and... It's like, no, I don't want to do it. I have cold feet. I can't do it. I have cold feet. Tomas says, oh, may I get you some appetizers? Yes, please. May I offer you some appetizers? Yes, please. Muhammad, I'll have potato skins. You got it. Okay. All right, all right. All right, so now let's do our... Dictation cards, and we have, whew, there's a lot today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cards today, everyone. So you're getting lots of practice today. And our members, our cards are from Tomas. Tomas is here. Fran B is here. This Fran. Dr. Emeris is here. Sewu is here. Devender is not here. This is Devender's sentence. Rita's here. Rita's got a sentence. Ava's got a sentence. Ava is here. Larissa. I don't see Larissa, but this is Larissa's card. Miley. This is Miley's card. She's not here, but she'll watch later. She's in Italy, so the time difference doesn't work for her. Lolly. We, we haven't seen Lolly for a couple days. She didn't come Wednesday, and she's not here today, so... Maybe Lolly is working hard, but this is Lolly's card. And we have Sophia. Sophia lives in South Africa, but um, because of the time, she can't be here right now, but she'll watch. And then um, Marion. Marion's here. This is Marion's card. A for Anna is not here today. She was here um, on Wednesday, but she'll watch later, I'm sure. Okay, so those are our 13 members of the green team they're your cards yeah and so you need a pencil and paper everyone a pencil and paper do you have paper do you have a pencil because i want you to write down what i say word for word it's our step one in dictation cards okay so let's go let's do it oh Air Lady got the vaccine. Very good luck. Yay. Congratulations, Air Lady. Here in Japan, we still don't have our vaccines. I don't know when we will get vaccines here in Japan. So Air Lady's arm is sore. That's what I heard. Most people have, after the vaccine, they get a sore arm. I get the flu shot every year, and it's not so bad, but I get, I get a little bit of a sore arm from the flu shot but I haven't got the um, vaccine yet, not yet. So you're lucky, Air Lady, congratulations. Okay, here we go. Dictation time, so let's count down. So please, please write these down on a piece of paper. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. Yikes. Two. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Do not have cold feet for my family. 
Please come in. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Card number three. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. Card four. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Okay, card five. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. Okay, number six. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. <laughs> Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Okay, card number two, four, six, seven. Number seven. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, number eight. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. Okay. My friend Joe and Sue have decided to get married next week. I'm afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friend Joe and Sue have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friends Joe and Sue have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. Okay, here we go. Card number 10. No, no, 11. 11, 12. Yep, 11. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. 
I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. Tomas, you're making me laugh, Tomas. <laughs> okay, two more cards, two more cards. Here we go. Two more cards. Card 12, card 12. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. <laughs> Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Okay, last card, everyone. Well done. Last card. Here we go. Even Bridezilla gets cold feet. <laughs> even, even a Bridezilla gets cold feet. I, sorry, one more. I didn't say ah. Here we go. Sorry, one more time. Even a Bridezilla gets cold feet. Even a Bridezilla gets cold feet. Even a Bridezilla gets cold feet. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a lot, everyone. Good job. You did good. That's a lot of writing. You did it. Lots of listening, lots of writing, but that's okay, right? We're, we are practicing English together, so you're getting lots of practice, right? So that's good. It might, be, it might be difficult. Maybe you didn't get it all. That's okay. The important thing is trying. We, we did our best, right? And that's what all we can do is our best, so good job. Okay, now it's time for shattering. Now, this is speaking practice, not writing practice, and then we will talk about the meaning. So, you still haven't seen the sentence, nope. You haven't seen the picture, nope. But you will. <laughs> Soon you will. What we're going to do is we're going to shadow, and then I will show you the card. You will then see the sentence. You will then see the picture. Then we will talk about the meaning. Okay, here we go. Shadowing time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. Okay, this is Tomas, yeah? So maybe like Tomas, he saw he couldn't move, right? He had cold feet. He couldn't move because he was scared, right? So he saw this big snake in his garden and he got cold feet. He couldn't move. <laughs> Yikes! Okay, here we go. Card number two. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Please, or no, no. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. This is Fran. So don't be scared. Please come into our house. We're, everybody is okay here. We've been vaccinated. We, are on, we, we have our masks, socially distanced. We're okay. Don't have cold feet. We are all fine. Okay, card number three. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. Okay, this is Dr. Ramirez. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. So, Dr. Maris, her husband saying, let's go skydiving. Let's do it. It should be fun. And Dr. Maris goes, oh, I'm scared. I can't do it. No, I don't want to go. I have cold feet. Okay, card number four. 
don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. This is Sewu. So tame means it is not wild, right? So, so something like a wild animal is not tame. But if it is not wild, if it's domesticated, right? I mean, like it's become a pet, then it's tame. And this lion has been completely tamed. It is not wild anymore, so it will be friendly. So don't be scared. Don't have cold feet. Come on. Don't have cold feet. You can pet the lion. Don't, don't have cold feet. It is completely tame. This is Sewu. I don't know, Sewu. I don't trust. I think lions will always be dangerous. <laughs> okay, number five. Yeah, I do not. So tame is not wild. Not wild. So wild, right? They're, a wild animal does not interact with humans, right? A wild animal will attack a human or run from a human. They do not interact with humans. But um, a tame animal will interact with humans, right? So if you have a, a, a tame snake, right? If you have a tame snake, the snake will be just on your body. It's like a pet, right? So an animal that is tame is like a pet. Okay, good, good. Okay, five. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. So this is Devender's sentence. So Devender's daughter is afraid of dogs. So she doesn't like dogs. She gets cold feet. She, she's afraid of dogs. I'm sorry, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to blow my nose, okay? So I need tissue paper. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back, oh, I, I needed to do that. I have hay fever. I needed to blow my nose. I needed to clear my nose. Okay, here we go. Next card. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Yeah, Sewu, domesticated. Very good, tame. Thank you, Sewu. Okay, this is Rita's sentence. Rita says, skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. So bucket list, you see that? Bucket list, that means things you want to do before you die. All right, so, so before you die, things that you want to do before you die. So like, so we say bucket list. So for Rita, she wants to go skydiving before she dies. Maybe, you know, a, a trip to Europe is on your bucket list. Maybe um, scuba diving is on your bucket list. That's good. What's on your bucket list, everyone? Real quick. What's on your bucket list? See, my bucket list, um, Europe. I, I want to go to Europe before I die. Um, Okay, Miss G, you got them. You got it. I'll send them to you. I'll send you the PDF, Mrs. G. You got it. Um, let's see. Um, on my bucket list, I want to go to Europe. That's probably the main thing I want to do on my bucket list. Yeah, that's right now. Um, what... What's on your bucket list, everyone, real quick? Tomas says, Tomas is domesticated. <laughs> Anybody? 
Anything special on your bucket list, anyone? Something you want to do before you die? Okay, let's go to our next card. Shadowing, continue shadowing. Okay, okay. Here we go. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Ah, oh, say, well, oh, you're so kind. Yep. We, okay, for sure. We're, we're going, I'm going to meet you, say, well, I'm going to Korea as soon as this pandemic is over. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. This is Ava, right? Don't be, so here, Ava is saying, um, don't be scared. You, you can do it. Do it. Do it. Dr. Maris, oh, that'd be great. If you want to come over here, you're my guest, Dr. Maris. You come over here, you're my guest. I will give you a tour. Oh, Dr. G, or Mrs. G, I did it. So, parachuting. So, this is on uh, Mrs. G's, yeah, say, um, this is on Mrs. G's bucket list right here, skydiving or parachute, right? That's on your bucket list. I've done it once, so I, I checked it off my bucket list. I did it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, so there's a few things, right? I want to, for sure, I want to go to Europe. Actually, I want to see Rita in, in Brazil. I want to see Rita's house in Brazil, so that would be great. I want to go and see Sewu in South Korea, and that would be easy for me. To go to Rita's, that's a far, that's far, that's, that will be more difficult. But I can see, um, go see, visit Sewu, that, that's easy. But right now, we just can't travel. But um, yeah, I, I want to take my family to South Korea and we can meet Sewu, that would be fun. Okay, here we go, next card. <clears throat> I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. Ah, I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. Yeah, air lady. Air la in Japan, they are so disciplined wearing a mask, not like radical people in America who won't wear. That's right, air lady. Yeah, so Japan, we don't have many people dying in Japan and very little um, 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 new cases, right? So here in Japan, we have new cases every, every day, a few hundred people only. And that's like in Tokyo, mainly in Tokyo, because in Japan, everyone's good about wearing masks. So, so it really doesn't spread much. Okay, this is Larissa's. This is Larissa's sentence. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. So, right, so there's an earthquake and it finishes and then like you get out like, oh, like what's, what's the area like, right? So that's scary. That is scary. Ah, Asma. Hello, Asma. Welcome. Okay, here we go. Next card. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the Astra, AstraZeneca vaccine. I'll have cold feet. <laughs> on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. This is Miley. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. So Miley, she'll get it, but maybe, you know, she's nervous about it, right? So, so Miley is nervous because maybe, you know, it hurts a lot. And 
<clears throat> we don't know side effects, right? So maybe she, she's going to get it. She wants to get it, but she's going to be a little scared, right? But that's natural. That's natural. Yes, Tomas. Jap Jap Japan, here in Japan, um, most people are law-abiding. Law where um, we don't have too, we don't have problems with crime too much. There's not too much. There's not too many problems with crime here in Japan. AstraZeneca problems. I don't know. I, I, I heard if you have pre-existing, like some people who have um, blood clotting, they had a problem before. And, and so getting the vaccine, maybe it makes the problem worse. But I think if you're healthy <clears throat> and you get the AstraZeneca, I think you're fine. It's just <clears throat> if you have um, problems before you get the if you have pre-existing conditions, right? So if you're already sick, if you already have medical problems, then you get the AstraZeneca, maybe you'll have um, problems. But if you're healthy, everything's fine, and you get the AstraZeneca, I don't think there's any problem with that. Asma, thank you very much. I appreciate your kind support. Mwah, thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. We still have a few more cards. Let's continue. <clears throat> I need some water. My, I have allergies, spring allergies, hay fever right now. So today, my, my nose and throat, I'm having a problem with my nose and throat right now. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. I'm afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. Congratulations, Joe and Sue. Oh, I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. This is Lolly's sentence. Yes, good one, Lolly. So I think so too. I have the same feeling, Lolly. <laughs> so here, so what she's saying here, I'm afraid Joe will have cold feet. So they're planning to get married, but then Joe's going to go, Ah, uh, I don't want to do it. I'm going to back out. I'm, at the last minute, I'm not going to get married. He's going to back out. Sewu, good point. Yes. So, so there are more benefits than risks, right? So Sewu is making a great point about vaccine, about the AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, there are more benefits than risks. So anytime you take medicine, anytime you get a shot, there, of course, there's always a risk, right? So any medicine you take, there's a possible side effect, right? So we know that, but we take that risk because we want to continue with our life, right? So we take that risk. There's risks everywhere, driving a car, right? There's no guarantees. So you know, even walking on the street, you can get hit by a car, you know, anything can happen, right? So there's always risks in our life. And so we just have to um, evaluate the risk. So we have to think about um, the, the cost benefit. So we say cost benefit. So something costs something, right? So we, you could say cost or risk, and then you have benefit you know, what you're going to get from it. So cost benefit. And so um, when you decide to do something, there's a cost and there's a benefit. And so if the benefit is bigger than the cost, then you go for it, right? If the, if the cost is bigger than the benefit, then you, you say forget it, right? Okay, let's continue. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. I had cold feet 
when I decided to move to South Africa. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. So this is Sophia. <clears throat> so Sophia, she's from Lebanon, right? So, but she got married and she moved to South Africa. So she got cold feet because she was afraid of the future, right? We, we don't know, like that moving to a, a different country, there's a cost risk, right? There's, there's the unknown, right? I moved to Japan, right? I, from, from California, Los Angeles, I moved here to Japan and I didn't know the future, right? So I was, I was nervous too. So, but like, okay, I want to, you know, I, I, I did kind of an analysis to myself. I go, yeah, I want to try it. I want to do it. And then I came and I, I liked Japan. I liked working here as an English teacher. And so I just stayed. So, um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Two more cards, everyone. We're almost done here. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. This is Marion's sentence. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Okay, so maybe, you know, like his parents, like, Say, oh, we want you to marry this girl. And he's like, uh, right? He saw her and they go, yeah, we want you to marry her. And he's going, I don't know. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So, so um, he, he has had cold feet. Like, no. So that's over time, right? So here, you know, ever since, so maybe, you know, his parents introduced him to this woman and, you know, let's say, you know, a few years ago. And so from the past and now to the future till now, he has had cold feet, right? So it's continuing. Like, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Right? So he has had cold feet continuing from the past to now. Okay, here we go. Last card. Here we go. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Even as a bridezilla. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Yet, yeah, this is A for Anna. Bridezilla, I guess. I, I never heard that expression first time. And um, I guess a bridezilla is someone who is like, um, you know, they, they need to get married and like, you're going to marry, you know, like they're, they're forceful. They're, they need to get married. Right. And so like, ah, like, like a monster. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the expression bridezilla, but I guess many people use that expression. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, he will run away. <laughs> run away. Don't marry a bridezilla. Don't do that. Okay, that was um, shadowing and meaning. Okay, good, good. Now, um, actually, on your own, because I'm looking at the, this is going to take a long time, so we're just going to go over pronunciation. So I'm changing on your own to pronunciation, okay? So I'm going to cross out on your own, and I'm, I'm going to write pronunciation. pronunciation. Okay, so we're going to just go over the quiz or go over the cards, I mean, for the pronunciation. Okay, so let's do that. Here we go. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. So 
let's see, like pronunciation and reading. So please read the card with me and let's pronounce each word. I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. Do not have cold feet for my family. Please come in. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. I got cold feet when my husband wanted to go skydiving. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. Don't have cold feet. The lion is completely tame. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. My daughter has cold feet when she looks at a dog. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. Don't have cold feet. You can do it. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. I'll have cold feet on the day I get the AstraZeneca vaccine. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. My friends, Joe and Sue, have decided to get married next week. I am afraid Joe will have cold feet. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. I had cold feet when I decided to move to South Africa. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Ever since he saw his future bride, he has had cold feet. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Even a bridezilla gets cold feet. Okay, that, okay, that was good. We read it and we practiced the pronunciation. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's check that off. Now, our last, our last step is the quiz, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up the cards. I'm going to mix up the cards and then I'm going to take the first three. I'm going to take the first three cards from the top and cover the sentence and you in the chat write the sentence, okay? So here we go. Okay, I'm going to take the first three cards. I don't know which ones they are, but I'm going to cover the sentence. Do you remember? Can you write the sentence? Do you know? Can you write the sentence? What is the sentence? What 
What is the sentence? Do you remember? What is the sentence? Please. Please. Okay, Sewu is on the board. Sewu says, skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. <laughs> Good, Sewu. Marion, skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Good, 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 good. Okay, Tomas, I have cold feet about skydiving. Okay, that works. That works, Tomas. I have cold feet about skydiving. Yeah, that, that's nice. That's a good sentence, Tomas. Yeah, very good. It's not what Rita said, but that's, that, that sentence works. Helga, skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Good, Dr. Ramirez, skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Yep, okay, let's check. And, yep, you got it. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Rita, do it, Rita. Don't have cold feet, Rita. Don't, don't worry. You can do it, Rita. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number two, card number two. What is the sentence? Uh oh, Tomas. Computer problems. That's okay, Sax. No problem. Okay, what is this? Is Tomas's sentence? Do you remember? Good, Samuel. Skydiving is on my bucket list, but I have cold feet. Very good, Samuel. How about Tomas's sentence? Do you remember? Tomas, do you remember your own sentence? <laughs> Tomas, can you write your own sentence? Challenge for Tomas. This is your sentence. I want to see your sentence completely perfect, okay, Tomas? <laughs> <coughs> I'm kidding, Tomas. I'm kidding. What is the sentence? Say, whoa, I had cold feet when I noticed. A snake in our garden. Marion, I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. Tomas, okay, let's see. How did Tomas do with his own sentence? I have, I have a cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. So Tomas, ah, we don't want to use ah because feet, there's two, right? So we don't want ah because that's for singular, right? For example, a card, one card, and we say <coughs> cards, right? So, a card, cards. So, feet, two feet, one foot, two foot feet, right? So, cold feet. Okay, let's check. <laughs> Good to us. Okay, and the sentence is, I had cold feet when I noticed a snake in our garden. Okay, good. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. This is Larissa's card. What is the sentence, please? What is the sentence? What is the sentence? This is a tough one. This is difficult. Can you do it? Can you do it? It's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tomas. So, yeah, so you know, right? So, when we use plural, we don't use a, uh, right? Okay, what is 
Larissa sentence. What is Larissa sentence? Oh, Marion. Marion's on the board. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. Yeah, you know what? I don't like grammar either. Yeah, because I think grammar like interrupts our, our, our communication too much. But you, you need to have some grammar, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. The most important thing is communicating, right? So that's, I, I never want to stop people from communicating, right? So, so I usually um, don't worry so much about the grammar because I don't want people to stop communicating. I don't want people um, thinking too much about the grammar where they, where they hinder their own communication, where they, they slow down their own communication. So I think, you know, communication, ideas, meaning is more important than grammar. Okay, good everyone. Dr. Maris, I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. Yeah, sex. My daughter saw a snake. She got cold feet. She got cold feet, sex. My daughter saw a snake and she got cold feet. Okay, good. Let's check the sentence. I always had cold feet stepping out of an earthquake when I lived in Uzbekistan. Okay, all right, all right. That's a lot, everyone. That was a lot. That was 13 <laughs> cards. Wow, it keeps growing. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. But, you know, lots of good practice. Lots of good practice. So, um, that's why we're here, right? That's, that's the purpose of being here is for practice, right? So, we shouldn't complain. Oh, no, too much practice, right? That... <laughs> That sounds strange, right? Like the purpose, why are we here? To practice English. And if someone says, oh, it's too much practice. What? What does that mean? That's, that's crazy, right? So um, the problem is not enough practice, right? That's the problem, not enough practice. But we're getting lots of practice. So it's not a problem, right? It's, it's good. So. We did it. Let's, let's check it off. Wow, we did a lot. So we did lots of practice, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, <clears throat> we reviewed. That's very important for practice, reviewing, right? And how we, re how we reviewed, we used um, a quiz, right? And so that's a good way to review things is by um, doing a quiz, doing a game, right? So. That's good practice. Then we talked about which is better. So that gave you practice to express your opinion, to, to express your feeling, right? That's, that's great. Then we did what is the difference. And so that's a way for you to practice um, facts. Like what the fact, like a van is smaller than a truck, right? That's a fact, right? So here we, we talked about the differences. And then we did a conversation. We practiced the conversation, right? And we practiced speed. We went slowly. We went quickly. We talked about the meaning, right? And then we role played, right? We practiced. You were A, I was B. Then we switched. I was A and you were B. So we were practicing role playing. And then we did dictation cards. Yeah. So we had lots of practice using cold feet, right? So. The purpose of all this practice, these cards, was to um, use cold feet. So lots of practice for you guys. Yeah, and that's why you are here. So um, thank you, Helga. So um, today we had lots of good practice and because of you, right? So I have to thank you for um, today's lesson. I have to thank the, the green team. Yeah, so... Um, well done, everyone. Um, today is Friday, yes, and 
that means it's the weekend. So everyone have a great weekend. Be safe. Oh no, I forgot. I need to take a picture of the whiteboard because there is so much good stuff on the whiteboard. And um, I will take a picture of the whiteboard and then I will put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. That way you can check it out anytime you want to. So let me take a picture of the whiteboard. Okay, you can't see me, but you can hear me. All right, I am now getting a shot. Let's see, here we go. All right, I got it all in my frame. Countdown, four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture now. And later today, I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So um, check that out, please. Also, check out my books, Amazon.com, yeah. And um, also, be green. Yeah, join the green team, everyone. Yeah, join the channel. Support me so I can support you. Help me so I can help you and um, all that good stuff. And of course, please like the video. And please, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Yes, do that. That way you get all of my videos. I upload videos almost every day. So um, anyways, please check it out. I'm going to be back on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday 5 p.m. and the 6th, April 6th, 5 p.m. for the next live stream class. So um, thanks everyone. Um, I really, really appreciate your kind support everyone. So um, Let's say goodbye together, shall we? Okay, let's do it together. Let's say goodbye together. Okay, let's count down. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you. And again, have a great weekend. Take it easy. Bye, everyone. Bye.